My entire blacksmithing career, I said I would never do this. Making a sword is an incredibly difficult task, and I know it, and I have very much feared taking on such a project. Right now, those fears are right at about a peak, because today I'm starting on day one of making my first ever sword, and we're gonna make the Damascus steel, and I am absolutely terrified, because this is gonna be a hell of an undertaking, a hell of a project, so I guess I better get started. <laughs> What, two weeks ago or so, I made a video that was titled My Largest Billet of Damascus Steel Ever. It did not take me long to blow that title out of the water. This is enormous. I don't even know if this is gonna well. I hope it will, because I think I can get an interesting pattern out of this. sweating buckets. It is hot here in the workshop. And that piece of steel, usually you're moving the steel and you're like, yeah, you know, the steel, this isn't such a big piece of steel once you start moving it. And I kept moving this steel and it kept seeming like an enormous piece of steel. That is pushing my Pilkington power hammer to the max. And it's also pushing my heat tolerance to the max because the radiant heat off of that is unbelievable. Right now, it is in the forge, and I'm letting it cool down nice and slow. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, firstly, eat my lunch, because I'm hungry. Secondly, drink about 50 liters of water. And thirdly, I'll then grind all four surfaces with the nine inch angle grinder. Go to the bandsaw, cut it up, stack it up into four, weld it down again, and keep forging. <laughs> We are all ready for the next step. We're gonna weld this. Oh look, Sam's here! How you doing, Sam? What's up? Thank you. Guy, he's got the guns out today. What's this? Gifts. It's gifts. It's the new grinder. A new grinder? Yeah. Ooh.
Today, the hottest day of the year so far, is not the day to be making the biggest piece of the billet. Blah, blah, blah. The biggest piece of, or billet or whatever it is of Damascus steel I've ever made. I'm dripping in sweat. It is boiling hot. I'm exhausted. Whew. I'm not playing this game. Wait. No, no, you did it the right way. It's just you got to roll over your wrist more. There we go. Keep my, and just keep moving it. When you let all you're doing is you. What? No! No way! So here it is, after cooling down as slowly as possible, I had one end in the forge at a time and I'd flip it out in the, uh, flip it around in the forge to make sure that both ends were cooling as slow as possible. So now that it's cooled, what I quickly want to do is I want to run into the bandsaw and I want to cut off the end and I want to have a look at it. I want to see what the pattern looks like now so that I can decide on whether I ferry flip it into the length that I'll then draw out into a sword. I can't believe I'm making a sword, I'm so excited. Or if I then do another operation before then moving on to doing fairy flips. You don't know what fairy flips are, that's okay. I believe we'll be explaining this a little bit later on in this video. <laughs> So freaking cool. Today has been a really hot, hot day. It's like a sauna here in this side of the workshop. So I've been trying to blow all the air out. I have my big fan here. But there's so there's no there's no ventilation at this back end of the workshop, so I'm dripping with sweat just here. Mad respect to anybody that's working hard, especially if you're uh, you know if, if if your summers are taking you to 100 or 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my goodness, it's it's not that hot here today at all. It's the hottest day of the year so far, I believe, um, and I am dripping in sweat, but I'm really loving it. Uh, yesterday, after I finished the box, I went to the beach. I swam. Really enjoyed this great British summertime. Hoping to really make the most of it a little more too. Today's been good fun. Tomorrow I'll explain to you the ferry flip. Um, I've got to do some kind of machining on the piece to make sure that it's all good and then cut it and then do the ferry flip and weld and all of that and then draw draw out and actually forge the sword. So we'll be forging the sword tomorrow and of course I'm going to be looking forward to seeing you then and uh, hopefully it's going to be a little bit cooler. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to end up uh, going for a dip in the sea first before I get any work done. We'll see but nonetheless I'll see you then. Have a great one. Bye.